to set the market on fire. Go and tell them we come to write a new history. Rise up, Spartans, rise up. We say no to Ponzi now, so stand up. You cannot defeat us, Yahoo, give up. Africa arbitrage is here, so time's up. Rise up, Spartans, rise up. We say no to Ponzi now, so stand up. You cannot defeat us, Yahoo, give up. Africa arbitrage is here, so time's up. Here come the Ponzi killers, victorious, we hold the title. With a fearless leader, name is Jester Michael. Come and sing with me like it's a school recital. No more poverty, we come to break this cycle. By the low and sell the high speed, is getting faster. No more scamming, no more crying down with Ponzi master. Yes, we like the vegetables, but now we cook the pasta. Profit in pyjamas, got me dancing like the Rasta. I had to switch it up, picked them up and had to dump the scammers like a Tonka truck. Got up in this crypto game years ago to make the buck. Searching freedom, not the fame, seek the knowledge, not the luck. Feeling stuck and giving up on life, I know just how it feels. Know that every arbitrage can buy you more than happy meals. Shiny wheels and faster cars, bigger homes and private jets. Think about the people you can help, that's how you live your best. Rise up, Spartans, rise up. We say no to Ponzi now, so stand up. You cannot defeat us, Yahoo, give up. Africa arbitrage is here, so time's up. Rise up, Spartans, rise up. We say no to Ponzi now, so stand up. You cannot defeat us, Yahoo, give up. Africa arbitrage is here, so time's up. If you want for me, call me. Yeah, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night, so depending on the location where you are joining us from right now. Uh, first and foremost, we want to quickly attend uh, our, our on reserve apology uh, because we're actually online and we're having some technical glitches and um, we have to quickly go offline to set the table straight because uh, there is no need being here when we have these glitches because our motive of being here is to celebrate with you Spartans to make sure you enjoy every bit of the way, to enjoy the sound output, to enjoy the video quality, everything that we've prepared for you tonight. We are here not just because of any other, but because of you, because without you, patterns, there is no interest. So right now, we are happy to be back again live and we are online. Come on, reach to every one of your friends, wherever they are, wherever location that you are joining us from, let them know that we are back online. You can follow us, you can watch this live streaming right here on the, the, our Facebook channel. You can also do so on our Twitter and as well on our YouTube channel. We are streaming on these three major channels. Please spread the news abroad. Let everyone, every member of your team know that we are gathered here. I can see the numbers popping up right on the screen. We are not going to start without you Spartans coming up here. We want to see above a thousand to two thousand people on this stream right now i can see the number increasing then if that is when we'll be able to bring the ceo up on this very meeting yeah um i mean uh, latasha yes so, yeah. uh, i i guess you can see the number of people that are popping up on this screen what do you have to say to this it's like people are really responding so much to this ama this very evening come on well, I, of course, I'm loving what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing all of the representation from near and far. So we definitely love seeing you guys in the place. We all get excited when we have these AMAs happening because we look to hear from our fierce leader and we love to just 
come together and have these moments together so that we can all stay on one accord. So I see us coming back in from all the various parts of the world. Of course, we got our Nigeria, we got Ghana. I even saw various states represented here in the United States where I am coming on in, bringing in those awus. Let's get it going, everybody. Let's bring it on in. Come on back to the room. Reach out to your friends that are not here. Get one of them, pull them in. They don't want to miss today. We're celebrating our 90 days, so we got to get it going, guys. Let's come on back to the room. Come on back to the room. So, I'm Thank you, back. thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Nilatasha. That's very lovely. Yeah, we really can't stay much more than this as we're just doing it right now. We have over 780 persons, and the number is booming up. Yeah, yeah, we've gotten this information that our audio is poor. Please, I believe this is network issue. Uh, we will be able to fix it as we uh, go on. And we believe before we finally start uh, AMA proper, we're going to see everything up and uh, running. Uh, yeah, please, um, I think, uh, is it the late here now? If you are hearing me, if you can please help us reach to admit Debbie. I've already sent her the new link. We are spending her on board. She's not here. It's part of our program tonight. If it's possible, please, I will, I will be glad if you can help us do that on the background. I wish to um, admit Debbie, let her know that the new link is already on our Telegram. She just needs to click there and join us and uh, we'll bring her to the stream table. Yeah, I think uh, right now uh, the CEO, uh, we're waiting for him to be part of us. Uh, he was here, I think uh, uh, he's trying to tidy up things. So uh, we are in for something good this very evening. We welcome you every Spartan that are here on this call. We appreciate you and we are very, very proud of you. We are here this evening to make sure that we all have a taste of what it takes to celebrate 90. Remember, it's not an easy road. It has not been an easy road for us to be here over this period of 90 days. So I will believe that um, together we're going to have a sweat time. We're going to celebrate together and we're going to have the opportunity to hear directly from the CEO on some of the issues that we are, are, are not going through. And uh, we should be able to um, be able to carry on from here. So Admiral Latasha, what do you have to say in this regard? Yeah, Latasha, yes. are you there? I am here, I am here. Come on. All right, so we, we're waiting for our CEO still, right? So while we're waiting for our CEO and some of the other panelists to join, um, huh, Ambrose, where do we go from here? We got 90 days on deck. We got a lot of challenges behind us and a lot of promise ahead of us. So that being said, I know that everyone is excited to hear about where we are today, what direction we're moving in. And honestly, the celebration of our 90 days is the reason that we've come together today and to just give everyone an update as to where we are. So I see Debbie has joined in with us. So Debbie, of course, you're our cheerleader. I need your energy. Bring you it on. You need my energy? Yes, I need your energy. Well, darling, you should have had it just a minute ago because I didn't know we were supposed to come over this other room. I thought it was just, I thought it was everybody else. But let me tell you what happened. So I'm sitting over there in this other room talking to everybody over there. And, and we were just having ourselves a grand old time that y'all interrupted and expected me over here. But you yeah. know what? Um, I am just over the moon about everything. I am just so excited. Um, there aren't enough words that I could possibly give to even describe the way I feel today. I mean, this is, this is just, whew, I'm just so proud of Jessam and what he's created. Way to go. Way to go, Jessam. You did great. And Maria, you know, every, it's Maria. It's cutting me off. It's cutting me off. And I barely hear you guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, see you. Uh, okay, gentlemen and ladies, uh, I think it, we come to the high life of uh, this very evening AMA. Uh, we're just going to um, ask, uh, uh, present our CEO now to just um, uh, give us a little welcoming kind of uh, um, a speech to the entire Spartans, because everyone here have been waiting for you. So CEO, please uh, just uh, have to uh, speak to us and uh, we monitor things from the back end. Thank you very much, CEO. Over to you, sir. Thank you. 
and thanks to every one of you here. Good evening. Good morning. Afternoon. And good night in any part of the world you are. Uh, permit me to say it's a meeting of all meetings. And also permit me to say congratulations to every one of you in any location you are, in any part of the world you are. Permit me to say congratulations. And permit me to say that we are not just winning the battle, we are winning the war. With all of the global attack on daily basis, even as I speak. But I keep saying we came prepared. So I must tell you congratulations. And I must tell you thanks for coming online. Thanks for believing in my dreams. And thanks for giving me your shoulder to lean on. Remember, without you, there is no AAX. A year ago, I said it repeatedly that without you, there is no AAX. You are the strength of AAX. You are the beauty of AAX. You are the glory of AAX. And the glory must be returned to God, not to human. Not with a deep team working with me, not even me as a CEO. No, no mortal must take this glory. No mortal. Because the wisdom behind AAS, the security behind AAS, it is wisdom given by the Almighty. If not, two days ago, we have an unexpected attack, a global attack. But we are still standing up very strong. The more they attack, the more we advance in knowledge and wisdom to protect what we have. Same day, that was three, four days ago, same hour they were attacking Save Moon, same hour they were attacking us, same hour repeatedly. They were attacking Save Moon and they were attacking us. Unluckily for them, they hacked into Save Moon. Billions of dollars are gone. But thank God for what we have. Thank God for security we have on ground. We are still standing strong. So thanks to every one of you. Kudos to you. Thanks for believing in me. Thanks for giving me your shoulders to lean on. And thank you for coming into AAX. One thing is certain. I'm under ethical oaths to protect that which you send to my hands. God bless every one of you. Inshallah, I will not disappoint. Thank you. Back to you, Ambrose. Thank you very much, CEO. Uh, that was really uh, a, a nice one. And uh, we are going to be going straight to what we have tonight without really having to take too much of our time. And I'm sure that the community are ready. And we've just seen the CEO present himself to us. And that is a sign that we are all ready to ride on this very show tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the AMA and the 90 day celebration with our CEO, Mr. Jason Michael, the visionary of AS, and with the, Spart with the entire Spartans all over the world. Right now, we are over 2,328 watching, and it's counting, increasing by the seconds. And I wish we are going to get to 5,000. We're going to even go beyond that. And this is a very, very, very important call for us tonight. So we're going to be hitting the road right now because much time has been, uh, has been spent already. Uh, uh, Admiral Latasha is going to be coming up uh, all the way from the United States of America. It's a co-host and it's a co-anchor. And he's going to be coming up with the first introductory question that we're going to post to our CEO. It's 90 days, you know, and a 90 days journey is not just an easy one. They say the journey of, uh, of a thousand miles begin, begin with normally a step. And right now we're going to know from our CEO and how this has been over the years. So, Admiral Latasha, over to you from here. Thank you very thank much. You, thank, you, thank you so much. And we also want to give thanks to our CEO today because without his leadership and guidance throughout all of this, we would be a bit lost on this journey. Um, so we definitely want to give him his kudos as well. And we also want to give grace to the most high. That being said, We've all heard about the story 
that ignited the vision of our CEO, the journey that he took to get to where he is today. So CEO, if you could just share with our AAS family, just a little more detail about what ignited this vision for AAS. We know that AAS is touching lives all over the world, helping nations and just changing the world in general with this movement that we're upon. So CEO, can you just elaborate a little bit more for all of our Spartans here about what ignited that vision that we are now walking within for AAS? CEO? Yeah, um, thank you very much, Latasha. Yeah, CEO uh, seems to be having challenges with this network, I guess. Uh, CEO is already off this room. I think this is, uh, yeah, CEO is back. Yeah, um, I'm sure uh, we have him right here. I mean, the uh, we are going to win this war. It's a war we are winning, and we know we are 100% winning this war. So I want you to please recap your question again. I'm not sure CEO had you, so that he can as well uh, take off from here. Thank you very much, Latasha. Over to you. Come on. All right, see, you with all of this wonderful love we were showing you over here. So, of course, we thank you so much for your time today, and we are so grateful for your leadership and bringing us all along this journey of AAS. Of course, without this vision that you developed many years ago and the, the journey that you took to get to where you are, we all are itching to know what exactly it ignited that vision that you are now rolling out to us for AAS. So can you just give us a bit more detail on what got us there? We know that AAS, as I said before, and some of the viewers have already heard me say that AAS is touching lives and changing the world as we know it. It's helping nations and even without them even being aware of it at this particular point. So CEO, can you just share with us what ignited the vision for AAS for you? Thank you. Thank you, Latasha. Thank you. And thanks to the admin team and uh, co-founders are here. The deep team working with me directly haven't sleepless night. And to investors who are up there listening to me. Yeah, I, I am 18 years old. As a forest trader, I've been trading FX, that is forest trading. I've been into forest trading for 18 years now. And 11 years are holding crypto. My joining in the FX industry has been so smooth, but full of pains, regret, full of pains and regret knowing too well what they told me before I, I went into FX or learning FX or learning more of the centralized system, paying me to use uh, the centralized system uh, for my illustration, what I was told is going to be a win-win game. That was what I was told. And I believe them. I believe the mentors and teachers Hume uh, helped me in this joining. I believe them because they said it's going to be a win-win game. So when I came in, I discovered that the centralized system is full of fraud and lies. There, there was, there, there's never been sincerity in the centralized system. With my experience, disappointment, pains, finger bond, in the centralized system, I walked up, I called a few leaders around me, I told them, with what these guys are doing, we need to build a system. We need to look straight into the eyes of these guys and build a decentralized system that will not give human room to manipulate funds, to hold funds, or to control funds. Because these guys, are pure gangsters. They don't have the interest of the people at heart. All they do is just themselves for themselves, make their money, and off they go. What are the downlines? Then I turn back as well in the multi-level marketing ecosystem, which is okay. I, I never for one day condemn the multi-level marketing ecosystem. No, I've done it before I was there. But the truth is that because of the finger bones, right, are coming from these guys who never say the truth, who never told us how the system works, who never told us what we need to do, who never opened our eyes to the terms and conditions that govern the profit making they told, told us. Now, if you work to 10, 5, 7 persons, I told them, I have a wonderful platform. Would you like to buy into it? 
what comes straight to them or, or, or the question coming straight to you is, do I need to refer? Do I need to talk to people? How many members am I to refer to make this money? That is a straight question to you. And once you tell them you are to refer to three persons, that is the end of the deal. Because every one of them are so tired of talking to people to make money. So I call a team of guys around me. I tell them, listen, we need to build a system that will 100% depend in capital. The capital in their hands, the capital they have, the capital they are holding, the capital to the platform. Let the capital work for them. The older, the young, and the middle age, everyone who has capital, not minding how little the capital will be. Let it be that the capital works for every one of them. So I call them, I tell them, this is what I am doing, this is what I am developing already, and these are the ideas I'm putting together. That was 218. Uh, 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 we, we just came out of the boom market, 217 to 218. I think we have a lot in our hands, right? Because the Bitcoin we bought as low as $45, $50, $70, $80, breaking that is a, a 2016, November, December, breaking 2017, Bitcoin was as low as $94, hitting $100, coming back. So what we bought as low as 50, 80, 90 dollars, 2017 December was 19,000 plus. So we have enough in our hands. So I, I was talking to this and told them, I want to build a system, a trading system with my experience in trading. I want to build a system that one will not depend on referral. You don't need to refer. You don't need to talk to anybody. You don't need to bring in even your neighbor, no, your sister, no, your mom, no, your dad, no. Your capital in your hands should work for you. Some of them say it's not possible. How? Because we were all coming from the multi-level marketing ecosystem, knowing too well we need to take 10 to our left, 10 to our right, match here, match there. Without this, it's not forthcoming. The day you stop referring, that is the end of the deal. You, the upline, you stop earning the downlines, whatever even make up to their capital will start crying. So they say it's not possible. I told them it's possible. Wait. Now, I told them as well, hey, look at this, not just referring. Capital. If you have capital, let the capital work for you. Then I told them, I also, I, I am looking at a system that will be finger free, finger free. No, you don't need to tap any button. You don't need to press any button. You don't need to do anything. We will develop the system, backing it up with AI, which is artificial intelligence. Then I've not even add up the S, A, as I get it for just normal AI, I told them these, these are the plans I have on ground. So I think few of them, Ben is in this call. Most of them, uh, they may not really show up. They, all the chief team are in this call. They are here, working with me, they are here. So I told them that uh, this is what I want to do. I think few of them told me, okay, boss, let's see what we can do. We are with you. So we came up with this idea that the, the, the centralized system has failed. Then coping with what happened within that period between me, Jess and Michael and Otter FX, right? I, I funded my account with $23,000 with Otter FX. I traded the same account from $23,000 to $264,000 in 33 days. And I placed a withdrawal of $100,000. Bam! They sent acknowledgement mail acknowledging the payment of that $100,000. They said in three hours, I think those of you were in the room here, that was four, five days ago, I dropped all of the screenshot between me, Otter FX, FX account officer, the mail they sent to me, acknowledgement mail of the $100,000 in three hours, the three hours turned to 13 hours, 13 hours to 23 hours, 23 hours to 43 hours. They keep coming up with lies upon lies upon lies. Give me the hundred thousand dollars withdrawal I made. This is money I traded with. I made the profit. It's in my account, and you deducted it from my account. Give me the hundred thousand dollars. It has been stories, stories, stories. I have no any other option than to drag. Presently, I am in court with Otter effects. I dragged them wow. to court to claim my hundred thousand dollars. So, wow. guys, with all of these disappointment, with all of these finger bonds with all of these lies coming from the centralized system, I decide to say, okay, I am not the only one going through this. I need to build a system that would be 100% decentralized, no middleman, 
no thin green, no central authority, no one to manipulate. Let it run 100% in the blockchain. On the liquidity pool lock, knowing too well, we are going to have a global attacks. They, they will definitely come into attack, knowing too well, hey, what is locked in the blockchain, you can't ju just go in and take a set. The owner opened the door, you can't just go in, it's not possible. So uh, th 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 those are, those are, th those are forces that put me to the stage. I'm saying, okay, I want to build AAS, and here we are today. AAS wow. is a household name. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Latasha. I, yeah. I have a lot to say, but let me stop here. Let me stop here. Wow, wow. Thank you very much, CEO. Uh, I mean, we we'll just like, you know, CEO have a way of, uh, you know, is what, someone who wants to really unleash everything out. But CEO, we're going to beg, uh, crave your indulgence. We're going to give, you know, when you overfeed your children, they will not want to come for more. So you're going to be giving them little by little. Little by little, okay. so that they will not be too overfed, so that we can always come to the table to feed. Thank you very much for that extensive elaboration on this very issue on what drive you to uh, the issue of creating the platform AAS, of which every one of us we are beneficiary today. I am a testimony and every other Spartans on this call. So the follow-up question that we'll be looking at right now is that uh, among uh, these other things uh, that see uh, that um, the uh, AAS represent. We know that a lot of things have been uh, done at the platform, and um, more vision about the AAS is uh, yet to come. Uh, what are some of those things that we think uh, that you have gotten right? So far, so good. We know that you have a lot in, in mind for AAS. There are some things that are working perfectly now. There are some things that may not be, but that doesn't mean they have been ab abandoned. We wanted to just throw light on those things that are that you have gotten perfectly right on the AS platform that are currently working for every one of us as, uh, as traders on the platform. See you. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ambrose, and every one of you on this call. Um, I keep saying we've done 98% of the job. 98%. 1 to 98 is done. The system is okay. The system is working perfectly. The system is paying. Withdrawers are second to none. Just as I, I, I told every one of you a year ago that I am building a system that the speed will be second to none, that no crypto exchange in the world has ever experienced or noticed that speed, right? I said, I want my withdrawal speed to run in seconds, of which today, when you tap withdrawal, in your AAS back office is less than one second. The money is in your Coinbase, OKES, KuCoin, Trust Wallet, name them. Just at a speed of less than a second is there. So uh, we've done all of this. We've gathered all of this. 98% of the job is done. Remaining two. Two. 98% is done, and today we'll be uh, elaborating a lot of things. Today we will, we will elaborate them to tell you uh, the issues you are seeing, the, the wrong timer you are seeing, uh, why is my system not by I place a withdrawal, how come I'm, I'm not getting it, my timer is uh, uh, running more than 24 hours. We will be telling you why you are seeing this and why you keep seeing them and why we on our end are are. are bend or on our toes, rather, to make sure the security of AAS is being tied on daily basis so as to overcome these global attacks coming in. It's not every time we see these attacks, we're telling you just like two, 48 hours to 72 hours, we've been under global attack, serious global attack. So 98% of the job is done just the 2%, which is the, the internal transfer, and the internal transfer will be coming in, that will be June. We suspended it uh, till June. Why? Because we want to concentrate more on the compounding. So two components are, are remaining of the 98%, which is the internal transfer and compounding. So these are the only two things that are left in the system, which we are working on it day and night. Thank you, CEO. Uh, that is uh, a, a quick one there. Uh, we're going to be going over to our admin, admin Debbie, uh, with a follow-up uh, question. I'm sure Debbie is right already and waiting to hit the screen. 
So, Admit Debbie, over to you. As the CEO is right here waiting for you to get up on board. Thank you. CEO, there's been a lot of things that, that we've seen going on, such as the ROI not, ROI not dropping, such as um, you've talked about the compounding and you've talked about the, the timer running the way that it is. Now, we see all these things from this side of the fence, but what we don't see are the things that you have been having to go through and, and the different challenges that you have. What are some of the challenges that you as a developer and the creator have come across that we don't know about that that would enlighten us to the point that we could understand more of why things are happening the way they are on our side. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Debbie. That is the oldest mama we have in the admin room. Uh, I, I call her my mother, my mother in the US. <laughs> and she's so lovely. Yeah, uh, Mama Debbie, let me answer this. Um, you see, until you come to the site of what we are going through. We are going through a lot on daily basis. Let's talk about compounding. You just asked about compounding. Compounding depends on the blockchain prediction. Listen, listen, listen. You see, some of you have been misled, you don't understand. Mostly those who bench themselves in the centralized system who wake up and cook a kangaroo platform and tell you, hey, we are compounding. Uh, you never know. You never know. You become a developer running a system in the blockchain, then you realize that no human should deceive you, that the system is built today and compounding starts today, <laughs> not in the blockchain. It has been my dreams because I call the poorest of the poor to invest as low as $20 in AAX, meaning a $20 to run for 12 months is over a hundred thousand dollars. That was my plan, meaning the poorest of the poor in AAX can have as high as a hundred thousand dollars in 12 months. That has been my plan, and that can only happen, achieve, through the force of compounding. Because to me, compounding remains the seven financial wonders of the world. So I, 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 I make sure when I was building the system from day one, from the scratch, we added compounding component to it. Now, one thing we need to understand is this, you don't predict compounding. You don't assume compounding. You don't dream compounding, you integrate listing. You don't predict compounding. You don't predict compounding. You don't assume it. You don't dream it in the spirit world and imagine it to work. No, you integrate it. And to do this, you need to obey the logic that has to do with the blockchain coding and the languages that are coming in. If not, you will have problems in your system. For example, so many of you in this room, you've experienced compounding in your account. Is that true? Now, why you were seeing that from our end on daily basis five times? One, two, three, four, five with integrated compounding, and the system picked it up. Within 48 hours, this is what we have seen. Five different times, but after two to three days, the system will come up to call for a reset. Reset me back to the default setting. Listen. Reset me back to the default setting. And this is a message popping up from the blockchain to you as a developer. Hey, if you are a thinker, if you are smart and a good thinker, that means the system is crying for you hey, to adjust and pull off. You need to pull off. If you don't pull off, you are going definitely to have problems. Now, the system is coming up to say, please reset me back to default setting. That means the capacity of the liquidity pool is not sufficient enough for the system to run with listing. 
You see, when we talk about compounding profit paying out to members, it's accumulated profit generated by the blockchain in a pool. In a pool. A system pick from the capital, run to the market, buy, sell, convert back as USDT to the system. Hey, back to the capital, here for return on investment, and here for sales of compounding payment. Now, if this pool of the seven of compounding payment is not enough and you are using the system to take up compounding, these are the default messages you keep seeing. Reset me back to default setting. And once you see this, those of you who have witnessed, hey, I'm seeing compounding, I've seen compounding. Yes, you are not lying. You are not saying anything that is against what is happening from our end because on daily basis, the war to make sure we integrate compounding into the system is ongoing. Now, five good times, we set it up, then launch it to the system, to the blockchain. It will run one day, two days, three days. Those of you are seeing, hey, you woke up in the morning, your $2,000, your $1,000, your $300. Hey, it's been compounded back to the system. Is because we are working for our end. We are having sleepless nights to make sure that what we promised you from day one happened. So now, but when the system come up to call you, hey, Jeff, um, you set me back to default setting, take me back to default setting, meaning is not yet time. Listen, never you be deceived. The worst I will do is to lie to you. I call you to come up to trade in the system I build because I want you to have your financial freedom. Because I want you to stand tall above your pearls. Because I want you to stop crying. I want you to wipe off tears. I want a little in your hands so that your capital has been doubled in these 90 days. We have already 100 days plus, remember? Those of us who came in from beta testing, we are already 100 days old today. So we are celebrating two things. We are celebrating 100 days trading in AAS and 90 days trading. 90 days we went live globally. 100 days, those of us who started in the beta testing, we are already 100 days old. Listen to these guys. It has been my dream to make sure compounding work. But when you see the system popping up with erotic message telling you, take me back to default setting. That means a liquidity pool is not enough to take up that business. So guys, I want you to be very patient with me. If there is one thing I want every one of you to do for me is this. One thing I want every one of you to do for me is this. Give me your listening ear. Trust my judgment. Believe in what I do. I will not let you down. Believe in what I do. Trust my judgment. I will not let you down. These are the issues we are having in the system for compounding. We are ready to go. We are done. The software working on it. A system to integrate. Everything is ready. For blockchain popping up with the same message, reset me back to default. That means the liquidity pool, the fund, let me use the language, the fund is not enough to push for daily payment, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. Once it's already, remember, we are not giving up, right? We only take a pause. Those of you who are in the system today, you notice that uh, you wake up this morning, that they literally in your account, the system has compound, right? Meaning we are still working. So never you be deceived for anyone to tell you, hey, AAS is not going to integrate compounding. AAS is not. No, AAS is fully ready for compounding. But we don't want to disappoint you because the liquidity pool that the pool that the system is to pick and pay to you, the blockchain decide. The blockchain has a right, knows better, does a calculation. If it's not enough, it will never pick up. If it's enough, we are working, it will pick it up and compounding will start immediately. Mama Debbie, thank you. Thanks for your question. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ambrose and Latasha. Yeah, see you. Thank you very much uh, for that quick response to uh, that uh, question. Uh, we have to go a little bit uh, faster now. Uh, the next question will be, see you. Um, we know that um, the issue of uh, compounding you just talked about as one of some of the challenges, which we believe that uh, these are challenges that can be overcome. 
uh, we want to also know, CEO, how bright is the future of AAS? What are those things that we still need to expect? So how bright is the future of AAS? You know, the things we still need to expect that will come in addition okay. to what you have already uh, put on ground. Thank you very much. Over to you, CEO. How bright is the future of AAX? <laughs> um, okay, I'm listing up, guys. 10 years from now is our starting point. 10 years. If you check our domain, we bought a seven years domain, not six months, not two months, not one year, not two years, not three years, not five years, seven years. And we are topping up three years by June to make it 10 good years, a domain of 10 years. Presently, the domain of AAS is to run for seven good years. We paid for that already. Why do we do this? Because we know we have a long way to go. And we have a long way, way, way to go. We have a lot to deliver. So we are not just in to hit and run. And those of you who are uh, somehow still giving your ears to naysayers, hey, he's going to run away. How? <laughs> listen, up, listen up, guys. You see, when I say you, the investors in AAS platform, are the glory, the beauty, and the strength of AAX, I'm not missing words. Listen up. You see, your capital has played a major role in the industry. And today, AAX has over 200 different payout wallets. And each of the wallets has fund, enough funds on it. Over 200 wallets. Over 200 wallets. The wallet that pay Ambrose is different from the wallet that pay Latasha, different from the wallet that pay Lucky, different from the wallet that pay an African queen, different from the wallet that paid to me, we have over 200 wallets. And each of these two wallets has enough fund, enough fund to pay to members. Now, when I hear one wake up to say, hey, Jessica Michael is going to run away with the money. What is in the liquidity pool is mind blowing. How? Listen up. When you come to AAS or you came to AAS with a $1,000, just as your thousand dollar had been doubled, that means that same a thousand dollar has made a hundred thousand times for AAX. The system will build run in this way. If the system sees an opportunity, the system will take up your very capital. Show the market, buy, sell, return back again. For example, if Bitcoin won our candlestick, trade for 30 seconds or 30 minutes rather, and the system sees that opportunity of 30 minutes, the HFT which will build with the robotic system to run in between the two cycles to make this profit will run over 500 trade in 30 minutes. We'll run over 500 trade. Now, imagine your $1,000, the system taking 35, 40% of your $1,000 to run over 500 trade in 30 minutes. How much do you think that system is making for AAX? And why will AAS wake up and run with your pill notes? Sorry to use that language. Sorry, please. I don't mean to insult anybody here. You are members I respect. I have respect for every, every of the investors here. But permit me to use that language, pill notes. Why will we wake up to run away with the pill notes? When we have book, this is over 200 wallets holding the funds for AAX. Check any time you place your withdrawal, take the wallet that's the wallet that paid to you, take that wallet to transcan, scan it, and check how much is in that wallet. Then and think when a naysayer, a YouTuber who has never built an e-commerce before, a website before, never built a system in the blockchain before, is telling you, hey, they are suspecting this system is going to crash. Crash how? 
Sorry to tell you, hackers have tried all of their best to hack into the system, which is the only way to drop us or the only way to bring us down, but it's not working. So it's not possible. We are in for business. We are in to trade up more than 10 years because it's in 10 years. We will say this is the beginning. We, we have one of the most sophisticated security that is second to none. The system we build run in milliseconds. The system we build, the cybers switch off herself once attack comes in. Switch off herself. Just as I was saying, for the past 72 hours, we have a major global attacks. But you don't know. The wrong timer you are seeing is as a result of attacks because we set the wrong timer as a default to us to send signals to us that they are here. We were going in, we will break more of that, we will enlighten you. So as per what do we have, uh, how bright is the future? The future is very bright because we have one of the most sophisticated security on ground. We have one of the most fastest system trading. We have one of the most fastest system paying. We have one of the most fastest system in deposit. And as well, we have one of the most fastest growing community in the arbitrage system, in the arbitrage, plant, ab 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 arbitrage ecosystem. So guys, the future is bright. We have a lot to do. We are still looking at version 2.0, which is already on the pipeline. We are looking at the stable coin because we want our stable coin. We want to use our stable coin just like USDT. So AAS stable coin is on the pipeline. Our blockchain is on the pipeline. Our liquidity pool is on the pipeline because we are paying a lot to Binance. Within the space of three months, AAS has paid over $72 million to Binance. $72 million this is what we paid already to Binance because we are running with, we have our liquidity pool under Binance. You don't do that for free. You can't run that for free. And there are some things I see also would like to touch into, which are a lot of naysayers are trying to confuse the members here. There is a liquidity pool, token liquidity pool, and a uh, 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 liquidity pool. With time, we'll touch that. But for now, let me stop here, Ambrose, please. Back to you because of time. I have a lot to say, but please let me stop here. Let me stop here. Thank you. Thanks to every one of you. Thank you very much, CEO. Uh, we are very much aware of um, uh, most of those things that you have just highlighted. And we are very happy that the future is right because in every project one gets himself fixed into, it's not just the present, but it's more of the future. That means uh, the sustainability of AAS is second to none. And we are glad that we asked, we signed up into uh, a business platform that will take us a long time. So thank you very much, CEO. So we're still going to be coming back to uh, Admin Debbie uh, because um, uh, the issue about uh, around the compounding, you've just uh, touched that. So we're going to be looking into the issue that have to do with a failed uh, deposit. So Admin Debbie is going to be uh, uh, taking that on. So back to you again, Admin Debbie. Thank you very much. See, you know, we get a lot of people in our DMs and they're talking about the failed deposits and, and some of it is the is the issue of, of user error and, and not getting the deposit over in a timely manner because we have that we do have that timer. But now there are instances where the deposits have failed and is it no it, it wasn't a user error. So what could be the possible cause and what is the solution for that? Okay. Uh oh. Sorry, Debbie. Let me pick up here. Okay, Debbie, can you hear me from there? I can. Okay. Thank you. Fail deposit. Fail deposit. Fail deposit. Yeah, it has been the consign. No? of every pattern to know why failed deposits. I, I am trying to deposit in and I'm having failed deposits. I, I am having uh, 
pending issue here. Hey, Binance has authorized a payment successful from their end. Uh, what happened? I can see the deposit from my end. I'm seeing a failed deposit. Yeah, listen to these guys. You see, failed deposit is a regular day-to-day -day operation experience of every financial institution that use cyber assets. Take it again. Take it again. Failed deposit is a regular day-to-day -day operation experience of every financial institution that use cyber assets. If you walk to a bank, you walk straight to the customer service, you hear members sitting up there doing making complaints. I didn't see my phone. I transferred money to a friend. They debited me. They can't see the phone. They send money to me. This is the alert. I can't see the phone. And they debited my friend, right? Now, on daily basis, for the fact that this financial system run in the cyber, Iran in the cyber is possible to see that. Now, when these things come in or any time network is running in error or there are issues in the network or they are uh, 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 pro probably those of you, maybe you go to your, your back end to your Binance, you want to do uh, your deposit, you tap on deposit, right? You copy your, your wallet here from AAS back end straight up to uh, your Binance. Now, Binance takes about four or five minutes to release the, release the phone from their end to AAX. And now the blockchain can only give you five, eight, seven, ten minutes, at times less than five minutes. And once the blockchain wallet that was generated for the deposit expired, the system will immediately generate a new blockchain. Let me repeat it. Uh, for uh, the benefit of those of you who are coming in new, probably you join us very new. Listen to this. Now, when you tap on your deposit page in AAX to make deposits, you pick up the wallet. The system generates a wallet, a unique wallet for you. That wallet will never be the same with the wallet of Ambrose, the wallet of Latasha, the wallet of Stainless, the wallet of any other person. The blockchain has the capacity to generate over a million wallet for a million transactions per one second. It can generate that. Now, those of you who are very new to the system, uh, how to know a decentralized system is in generating a wallet. A decentralized system running in the blockchain does not have one-way wallet for payment. Anytime you see a one-way wallet for payment, hey, the wallet they sent to you to deposit money is the same, the same wallet they sent to uh, your downline who want to deposit money, and it's the same wallet they sent to the other downline who want to deposit money. That is already red flag that this system, anyhow, they beautified it, the name they give it, whomsoever that is sitting as a CEO of the platform, that is a red flag that there is a middleman sitting in the transaction and certainly he will manipulate. Now, a centralized system has only a one-way wallet for deposit because it's not being generated by the blockchain. But if it's being generated by the blockchain, you are one million users wanting to deposit money in one minute, the blockchain will generate one million different wallets for one million persons. That is a sign that this system run in the blockchain. It's a sign that it run in the blockchain. So it's a red flag if one wallet is for 10 deposits as a red flag. That is a sign that this is a centralized system built by one man to manipulate funds, to take funds, and they will definitely run away. Because the ambition is nothing but just to run away with the funds. Now, when the blockchain generates a wallet for you to go and make payment, if you delay more than five minutes, the blockchain will cancel that transaction and generate a new wallet for you. Now, if you go ahead and make payment to that wallet, the money will not reflect in your back office. Listen, it will reflect. You won't see that money. Now, that does not mean the money is lost or is gone. No. 
There are two things I want you to learn today. Now, the money will go to the liquidity pool. The money, the fund, the USDT will pass through our Binance payment gateway to the liquidity pool, meaning it has a record of transaction. Now we will tell you, okay, when you cry back to us, or maybe you shut in of the admin, the payment you make to your account did not reflect. As a result of you that delayed, we will tell you, send all the transaction hash, send all the email address, and send us the payment amount, three things. The transaction hash, the email address, and the payment amount. If you send these three things, we will copy the transaction as to our payment gateway. We build a payment gateway to identify scammers, a hackers, those who think they can just wake up and steal from us because they believe the platform is built by one black man so they can just wake up and uh, they can steal. Hey, 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 it's not possible here. Yeah, forget it is not possible. So we will copy the transaction as to our payment gateway and draw if the money actually went through the liquidity pool, to the liquidity pool, the system will signal us and we will see the payment in the liquidity pool. We'll tell you in less than three minutes, five minutes, you will see the money. We will activate and release it from our end. Pam, to your back end, you will see the money. Now, those who are doing fake transaction hash, we will tell you this money never went to our liquidity pool because blockchain does not lie. Whatsoever that passed through then oh, get away to our liquidity pool. Blockchain has that record. And when we drop the transaction, has blockchain will pop up that record that pass through to our liquidity pool and we will credit you. But those of you who are going, you generate payment from AAS back end. Like that man who generated $160,000, right? He generated $160,000. He went to Binance transfer $160,000 from his Binance account to his own second Binance account, and then copy the transaction hash and send to us. He was making noise everywhere. He said he's going to report us to FBI. I told him, go to FBI office. The lawyers will meet you over. We are waiting. We came very prepared. You're a scammer. You didn't send money to us. From our end, we can't see. From our end, there is no transaction. From our end, you pay to yourself. Binance to Binance, you pay to yourself, you didn't pay to us. Now, people like this, imagine if we didn't have gateway to detect fake transaction hash that didn't pass through our payment gateway to liquidity pool. They will be making pranks, they will be taking, they will be stealing from us. So now, when your transaction hash is real, we will give you that same amount to your back office and it will start trading for you. If your transaction hash is fake, we will block you immediately. Presently, we have over 125 members who block with fake transactions. They think they can just come and steal yeah. because Jeff and Michael being a black man build the platform. So yeah, now, yeah, yeah. when we look at fake deposits, fake deposits are coming at the result of this cyber error, cyber network, then delay us from you as well. You over delay, right? To make the payment and the blockchain has generate a new wallet payment unknowing to you. You still went ahead and do the payment. We will refund that money to your account. But the last one is this. When you pay the money to expired wallet, listing, expired wallet. For example, the wallet you use in making payment today to your AAS account, the next day, you copy the same wallet to make the same payment to your AS account. That has been expired. The blockchain has lost that wallet of the system. So if you make payment to that wallet, it's going directly to the blockchain, not to us. We won't have access to it. We won't see it. We will never see it. You need, you, you, you need to consult TRC because it's their blockchain we are using, not us. We can't see it. We won't have access to it. So thank you, Ambrose, back to you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, CEO. Um, we're going to go quickly now uh, to the next question that we're going to have uh, for you. And I believe that was satisfactory enough for everyone who has uh, every spatter out there who have the issue of failed deposit. 
So uh, right now, see you, we're going to be looking into the issue of uh, negative timer. I know you've just talked about that already. You give a little uh, a gist on it. So we might probably uh, skip that and just go into the aspect of uh, skipping of ROI.